Congress tonight, an outpouring of support for a local family after their loved one, a young mother and beloved teacher, suddenly dies. She taught in Chester County and passed just days after giving birth to her second child. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez, and tonight a fundraiser for her family growing rapidly. And Sean, at such a loss on so many levels. It is, Jason, and as you can imagine, the grief here is extremely heavy. You know, it's one thing for adults to try to process what happened, but they also have the task of trying to help children, young children, 5 to 11 years old, realize that the teacher that they knew and loved will not be coming back. The community is in shock. Um, to have something like this happen unexpectedly. In shock over the tragic loss of this beautiful young woman with an infectious smile. I received a phone call from her father sharing the information. And that happened on Monday afternoon. Principal Chris Pickell says Jennifer Krasna was a beloved teacher at Charlestown Elementary School in Malvern. These are pictures shared on a GoFundMe started Tuesday, which states that she died Monday, just six days after giving birth to her second son. She has two little boys. She has a wonderful husband, Jesse, who's also an educator. She comes from a family of educators. Both her parents were educators, her grandparents were educators. So it comes to no surprise that Jen is remembered as a dedicated teacher and true professional who loved her school and her students. She was just magical in the classroom. She gave every student what they needed to succeed. It wasn't a one-size-fit-all. She knew her kids. She knew what she, they needed. Principal Pacal says Jen worked in the Great Valley School District for eight years, did her student teaching here, then taught second grade for a year. She was currently teaching first grade for the past seven years. Every time I saw her, she had that bright smile on her face. Um, she said good morning. She wanted to know about you. Uh, if we had building substitutes, she's the one who introduced herself and let them know if you need anything, I'm in this classroom, you can come and help, you can come and ask for my help. Now, a community devastated is left mourning the woman who they say touched the lives of everyone she came across. Jen would always do anything to help somebody. And she loved her kids in her class. And we mentioned that GoFundMe that has been set up to help Jen's husband and her two children. If you'd like to donate, you can find it at fox29.com. And Jason, the principal, also pointed out that, again, Jen's, mostly her entire family, they have a background in education. So this loss isn't just being felt here in our area locally. It is being felt all across the state where her family members have worked. All those people knew and loved her. Yeah, their whole community. All right. Seanette, thank you very much.